guys, welcome to Evisu Circuit. I'm going drifting today. It's the second time I've ever gone drifting. The last was probably like eight years ago now. And that was over at Scuba in an R34. Today, we've got a Sylvia, so that's super exciting. But we're gonna be starting pretty soon, I think. <laughs> Fear in your eyes. Fear in your eyes. <laughs> Nadine's with me. Hey, hey. Our new friend Beth is here. And Sam oh, is going to be my driver. I just so my I just lost his drone. Oh, great. <laughs> it's not a good sign. <laughs> Sam just put a fresh pair of tires on for us, and we're about to go. Are you ready? I'm totally ready. Do you, you have ready? faith that we're not going to die? <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of faith we're not going to die. <laughs> All right, good. Good. Let's see this. <laughs> I've got a helmet. You're He's driving, got a helmet right? for oh, me. Yeah. You do not want me to drive, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> Pretty much jump in. All right. You're gonna be nice and snug. Ooh, <laughs> very snug. Yes. Very snug. We don't want you sliding oh, around. Okay, all right, there all we right. go. I think I'm in. All right, you're good. <laughs> You'll notice the harness is pink. Love it. Love it. All right. No, I'm not gonna go Maybe too tight. Slightly nervous, but I'm pretty excited because the S15 is my favorite car, and I've never sat in one, let alone You're drifted look in one. Really so. good in this. <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> Come on, heads. Oh, yeah, good. look, we're straight all, in. We're all good. We're all... I'm gonna tight this down it, so it's gonna get uh, nice and. Yeah, tight. make it really tight. I didn't do it tight enough in the skyline. I was all over the place. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. How do you yeah, feel sliding side to side right now? A little bit? A little bit. I feel yeah. like these ones could be tighter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, your camera auto turned off. Yeah, just touch the camera, like take a photo button. Yeah. Better? No, it's okay. great because uh, her face was very like concerned looking before when you're typing stuff, so it looks great for the footage. But it looks like Charlotte's scared out of her brain just because you're. But I'm just like focusing on the hardest. Because he's so close to you and doing all the things. Yeah, literally. It's great. It looks good for content. So. <laughs> yeah, that's better. All right. A quick little test run, and Sam thinks something broke in the car. 100% broken. I can no. no. I don't understand. Why did that happen, you think? What? Bro. No. My axle just sheared completely off. Has that ever happened? Uh, yeah, I broke two at the same time once. <laughs> but, that? like, you weren't even really... No, I did nothing. Like... Yeah. All right, well, we're done with this car. Oh, oh. no! 
Damn it, that's like a $2,000 repair. That's a shame. If you lost a drone, you broke an axle. It's not your day, man. Yeah, it really isn't. Now, I forgot about the drone until now. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, we lost, we were shooting B-roll with the drone and then uh, it kind of just flew away. It just did its own thing. It literally, didn't like, come back. it didn't do anything <laughs> I told it to. Okay, well, yeah, this is down for today now. All right. Well, we got one test lap in the Soviet. It was amazing. <laughs> Drifting vlog to be continued, but... <laughs> You're getting the real experience, right? This yes. is real drifting and comp cars. <laughs> Nothing scripted here. All right, so change of plans. <laughs> Instead of drifting all day, we're gonna go Pokemon manhole hunting. Because we're in Fukushima and Fukushima has the super cute chancy uh, manholes. So I did see two of them previously, if I remember correctly. So we're gonna go see two more today if we can make them before the sun goes down. <laughs> this is a recurring theme. <laughs> We're always racing places, but I think we can do it. We've got about an hour and 15 minutes before the sun goes down. I think the first Pokelid is about half an hour away from here, so mm -hmm. see you there. This area is so pretty. I'm glad we had a chance to come out here. I don't think I've ever been here before. It's called Kawamata, but it's lots of houses, rice fields, super chill. Really gorgeous season to come here because the rice fields are just starting to change to yellow and the temperature is still quite hot, but it's not as bad as like the height of summer, so. starving because we kind of held off from eating much because we didn't want to throw up in the car. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Turns out Strategy. we didn't really need to do that. <laughs> Luckily, this video is sponsored by Sakura Co, my favorite Japanese snack subscription box. So we've got a box of goodies that we are going to find a cool spot to pull over and chow down on. I cannot wait. So where can we go? Do you want to park? Somewhere with like a oh, bench. There's some benches there. We could oh, park in there. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, let's yeah. go there. Okay, I need to turn around. So yesterday when I was packing up the stuff for the road trip, I realized we're not gonna be able to make the tea on the road because we won't have boiling water. But I remembered that my kettle actually has battery power if you want it to. Like normally I plug it in, in my kitchen, but it has a battery. So if it works how I think it might work, we should be able to reboil the water now. So this month's box is Ibaraki themed. Ibaraki is a really nice prefecture. They're famous for lots of agricultural stuff. So there's lots of like savory as well as fruity snacks in here, apparently. The booklets that they put together are so pretty and there's lots of really cool information about the theme of the box, Japanese cultural information, as well as info about allergens for each of the snacks. And this month we've got a green tea. Oh, let's Eden. make our tea. Let's see if the water works. There it is. No, it smells so good. It smells so good. Oh, All right. Come on, kettle. Yay, it still works. Luckily, this month's box also features a natto snack. I know everybody loves natto. Oh. <laughs> I've I've avoided natto for eight years. You've I've never tried never it? Never tried it, no. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's probably good because it's a snack. Yeah. It's probably maybe. gonna be good. It says, natto snack, mild salt. What a wonderful time. <laughs> is it though? Mmm, mm, no. No, it's not. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Little natto beans. It looks really cute. At first it tastes okay. It's not as bad as I thought. I think no. my brain is like panicking, but I'm like, it's yeah. actually not bad. It's, oh, it's getting bad. Oh. There's the natto flavor. Oh no. Let's try the tea. <laughs> Please. Okay, the tea is wonderful. Let me try it. <laughs> <laughs> so refreshing. Ooh, that's delicious. It actually is really good. Ichigo tarito. It's adorably sized. You could see it through the wrapper. I was like, that is going to be cute. Oh. 
It's really good. It looks good. It's really good. It's not too sweet. Beth is gonna try the kombu. Yeah, I wanted snacks. something salty. Yeah, we've been eating sweets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good. Does it taste like kombu? Mm. Subtle, subtle kombu flavor. It's delicious. Yeah, really interesting selection of snacks this month. I'm excited for this. It's so crunchy. Blueberry manju. Look at how like chewy and soft it is. Mm. This is amazing. It has the texture of like a soft, fluffy cheesecake, which is really nice. Mmm. So Ooh, and you get a tableware item every month. Oh, pretty! Pretty. It's adorable. Those were delicious, except for the nacho. So we, good. Um, are gonna take a walk in the rice fields now because the sun is just setting, as you can tell, and it's the lighting is just perfect. If you guys are interested in the Sakura Co box, I'll have a code down below for five dollars off your first box. We didn't we're make cute. it to the rice field in time. The sun's gone, but we're gonna go find the poke food now. So it should be really close. Um, is it this way? Oh, it says it's this way. Oh, in like the back parking oh, lot. That's wrong. My Google Maps is being really weird today. It's well, either way, it's on the other side of the restaurant. So let's go through the middle. Okay. Chancy, oh, where oh, are you? Atta, atta. You see it? Oh, yeah. Atta. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Oh. It's so Yay. I don't know which one we're on now. I think like 18 or something. I don't Have know. Have I seen 18 now? It's been so long since I did the last Poke Fuda video. I don't remember what number I'm on. <laughs> He's super cute. Is your first one? I know. I okay. love how it's yeah. Sakura. This area must be famous for Sakura. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. I love the colors. I just learned their names. Uh, Silkun and... Kaskun. That's what it was. Silkun, Kaskun. They're too new for me. Chansey. That's really cute. Yeah, so this is a Michinoeki, like a little roadside stop. Unfortunately, it's closed, so I can't show it to you guys. But we're in a really beautiful location, like nestled in the mountains. And the rice fields, which you can't really see, they're really yellow and golden and pretty right now. To the next Poke Futa. How are we Let doing for time? Okay, it says we'll get there at 6.15. Okay. So, it will giddy be giddy, dark, giddy giddy, probably, it'll be dark. Yeah. That's all right. Wow, look at it. I haven't seen a sunset like that in a while. This smells amazing. It smells like vanilla. Just imagine like vanilla extract. That's what this smells like. Mmm, -hmm. so good. This might be better than the blueberry manju. I'm not saying a lot. side roads but apparently we're coming up to it pretty soon now so it looks like oh, we're around here somewhere. Maybe. Yeah. There's some civilization right, up there. Three Might minutes. be in there. Three minutes. This is the next Oh there right. it is. Oh there it oh, is. It was the lights in the distance. It is. It's what we could see. I think we can go into the still got some lights on. I don't yeah, think it'll be open but it's a little bit up. That's a huge Michinaki. Up there, so I guess it will be yeah out front of that, probably yeah, on the ground somewhere. Okay, let's go up here. Wow, this place must be new. It looks really nice. Really pretty. Oh, I see cute looking vending machines. I oh, them are I bet they're the themed ones. They are pink. It's, yeah, it's like they a are. little. I don't think they're Pokemon. Oh, yeah, it's not Pokemon. It's it must like be like a... some other Fukushima oh. mascot. Oh. They look so I <laughs> know. There, this is such nice colors. Cute. cream soda. Ooh. These aren't options that we can get for our vending machine, unfortunately. It's not a Coke one. Too it's too bad. Like, oh yeah, this one's Coke. Oh, yeah. So we can get any of these drinks. See anything good? Oh, we should get Koo. I think you've got Koo now. I, do we? Yeah, we're just gonna just send an update and this was it, is, it's was on there the corner. Cute? Oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, that's yeah. exciting. Oh, I love that one. Ooh. It's grape juice, white grape juice with like pieces of aloe jelly in oh, it. 
<laughs> so I good. It. So good. It doesn't really have a flavor. It just kind of yeah. feels nice, like mochi uh, jelly. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, onto the poke futa. This way. <laughs> this place is huge. It's such a bummer. It's closed. It looks like a really good one. There's even a garden center. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh, man. Bummer, <laughs> right? Oh, so hungry. Right. <laughs> I know. We'll have to come back out of the time. We'll come back. Okay. It must be like right around it's here. Oh, 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 see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So cute. Wait. Oh, that's cute. adorable. This is the cutest one. Wow. wow. So peaches. That's what Fukushima is famous for. Oh. And this is the Fukushima city manhole. So I guess that's why they used the famous Fukushima peach in this one. That's so cute. This is supposed to be the cutest one I I've ever it, seen. Right? That's the adorable. The colors are so nice. Yeah. All right, guys. I think that is the end of our Fukushima adventure. It didn't exactly turn out how we had planned it, but still, I think we all had a blast. Yeah. Anyways, and it was a really good warm up for the next time that I do actual drifting with Sam, which will happen eventually. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anyways, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.